Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneWolf.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you connect your Xbox 360 controller to your Android phone. I already did a video on the channel about how Ice Cream Sandwich lets you connect USB devices to your Android phone and obviously I am running on Ice Cream Sandwich. You can do it with Jelly Bean of course as well. I have the Samsung Galaxy S3 here which I'm going to be demonstrating on. Obviously this is going to be using that same functionality. I just never demonstrated the actual Xbox 360 controller in that video. So what you're going to need is an OTG cable. OTG stands for on the go. I bought this guy from Amazon for like seven bucks. Anyway, it has a female input for the USB and a male input, uh, which is micro USB, which goes into the phone. Here's the other end of the Xbox 360 controller. I'm just gonna plug it into the OTG cable like that. And then this end, I'm gonna plug into the phone. In my case is the Samsung Galaxy S3, but you know, your phone should work as long as the charging port has the correct uh, pins that let this work. Now you can see the Xbox 360 controller is actually flashing. And uh, on the phone itself, at least with the Galaxy S3, you get a little notification up in the notification bar. So I plugged it in, you see it says USB connector disconnected because I just plugged it in and now it says USB connector connected. You can see the uh, GTA 3 icon is actually selected and I can actually move around using the joystick right over here. But I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It doesn't work like you'd think, like, you know, pressing A won't open it up. But if you actually open the game up yourself and I use the controller now, so I'll put it down. It does work, you know, as you'd expect. The joystick works perfectly. Um, the uh, turbo button, or uh, to run fast, you have to press and hold A. Pressing B will punch around, and this actually works, you know, right out the box. I mean, you download the application from the Play Store, you plug in your Xbox 360 controller. You don't need root or anything like that. It just works uh, mainly due to the fact that you know Rockstar Games included support for it. So you can see I'm pressing A to accelerate. So you don't press RT. RT actually uh, gives you the side views, which is you know. I mean, I don't really, I'd rather it be the other way around, being able to accelerate with this and brake with this, but brake is actually X now, so it's not that bad. Um, LB changes the radio stations and all that good stuff. So anyway, you can see it's fully functional, and if I wanted to uh, stop and get out of the car and get into a little fight with somebody, I could do that. Press Y to get out, go over here and you know start doing whatever you do in GTA. So. You can see it works pretty well, um, makes the game a lot more enjoyable, it makes me feel like my phone's almost like a little console being able to do this. I enjoy it much more than having to use the uh, touchscreen. Of course, if you wanted, you can still use the touchscreen as well. So I'll go ahead and hit home to back out of here and show you another game really quick. I'll just do, we'll do Dead Trigger so it's, I can show you a first person shooter. And this uh, game is actually free from Google Play and like I said, it does actually support the uh, Xbox 360 controller uh, right out the box. So or right out the gate, should I say. So here's the game, I'm just gonna run a quick mission and demonstrate how it works for you guys. Now this one's a little bit different uh, because you're gonna be using both joysticks. So this one's gonna be you know, moving you around where this one's gonna be uh, the directional joystick. So it's a little, a little bit interesting to see how this works, but it works very smoothly. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I can't do it through the viewfinder. All right, there you go. And uh, let's just shoot some zombies. Pressing LT will zoom in this case. Now the controls are a little bit different depending on you know the game that you're playing. And you know you should note that not all games work with this. So you know right out the box, not every or right out the gate, not everything works. I mean, this one seems to be work, working pretty fine. It takes a while to get used to as far as the sensitivity. It's not like you know it is on a regular Xbox game, but once you get used to it, it is pretty cool. And you know, like I said, it definitely makes the whole gaming experience a little bit better. So I'll go ahead and hit home. Now I'll show you really quick another game that doesn't support this feature, so I'll go ahead uh, Asphalt 6, which I have on my phone. You know, this is a racing game, I mean really simple controls you'd expect, you know, left to turn left, right, maybe a nitrous button, and that's pretty much it, but it doesn't actually work, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that it doesn't work. And um, I am going to be doing a video later on that's going to show you an application called USB Joy Center that lets you... Uh, map your controller, or whatever controller you have, whether it's an Xbox 360 controller or a PS3 controller to actually work. But in order for it to work, you do need root access. So, you know, it's not one of those things that's gonna work with a stock phone like this is, or uh, the two games that I showed you before. And I really don't know all the games that work with the Xbox 360 controller, but I know there's a lot of them out there. Um, you might have to read the comments, you know, in the app description to be able to tell. But as you can see, this one, you know, no matter what I do, Nothing is working. I think Y is the only button that works that lets me change views, but other than that, it's completely useless. So, just wanted to show you guys, you know, really quickly how the Xbox 360 controller works. You know, like I said, 
it's completely stock. You know, if you have the Xbox 360 controller, you can run games like GTA. Shine Runner actually works. Dead Trigger works. Modern Combat 3 and Asphalt 6 don't work. Those are both created by Game Loft, so maybe it's a Game Loft thing. Hopefully they add support for it in the future. But check out the video I'm gonna be doing on the channel if you're interested in learning how to map the Xbox 360 controller or any controller uh, for other games that aren't natively supported uh, if you do have root access. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.